if I uh, wanted to uh, talk about the prominent people who have figured in the life of my mind, it would be Jacques Tarida, Mohasheta Debi, Jean-Rit Guho, Bimal Motila. Like being in the position of not in any one school. So I'm in the happy position. My relationship with Derrida, therefore, is that of an old friend. I believe he respects me, but he does not count on me as a member of his entourage. I'm considered by the deconstructivists to be too vulgar, by the Marxists to be uh, too um, deconstructive, too theoretical, by the feminists to be too male identified and not single issue enough, because I believe in a much broader spectrum. And so, to an extent, I have, and the South Asianists think I'm not an expert, therefore I don't know what I'm talking about, so that I have a certain kind of, the hybridists and the globalists think that I'm too much of a Luddite because I'm t constantly talking about the post-colonial countries back there rather than just the globalized migrant space. I met Daida in 71. Mohasheta, I met in 79. I think part of my relationship with Mohasheta is also an extraordinary sort of kinship of spirit. I really feel that she uh, and I resonate, and I think she feels it too. So I have these kinds of bonds with her, which are not just the sort of serious contact w between a uh, great writer and her translator, or social activist and somebody who uh, follows along. I keep myself focused in one area, the Rajnuagar area of uh, Purulia district, which is where Maharsheta has a um, group working called uh, Poshchimbongo Kheriya Shabar Kollan Shomiti. And I interest myself in uh, the teaching of literacy to small children in the most deprived areas where certainly nothing like a government literacy program uh, can, have, can be seen to operate. That has taught me a great deal about the meaning of that big difficult word democracy in our parts of the world. My project is not to do good my project is to learn. I feel that having um, developed this analytical machine since 1946 when I entered uh, kindergarten, I'm muscle bound with knowledge. My dharma is exercise, bodily exercise. You know, the tapas in tapasya is also just kind of uh, the heat of the body, as it were. There's a, a song in Bengali, uh, it's really true. I mean, what an extraordinary creature has been put together by Allah. You see what I mean? So to an extent, I do feel that that's the closest that I can come to a sense of the mysterious, the extraordinariness of remaining alive. I told my mother when I turned 50 that I thought when uh, my marriages failed, I mean, I was so very unhappy. And uh, I thought that, you know, I wasn't good enough and all of this stuff. But now I think that I must not have wanted them to last. Although they went 11 years, 10 years, I must not have wanted them to last. I think I have what I want. <laughs>